Hey everybody, and today I am back with Title Tuesday on Chesscom. Let's have fun and let's start. Title Tuesday. Okay, let me make this smaller. I don't know why it changed. I ah, hold on. How are you doing, everybody? One second. Yeah, I think it sounds like this. How are you doing? Hopefully, you are doing very well, everybody. Thanks a lot to Anonymous Gifter for one, uh, two, three, for six gifted subs, and also for Pookie at tier one, is it resubbed at tier one for 13 months. Thank you very much, Anonymous Gifter and Pookie for 13 months. Uh, the tournament starts in two minutes. Let me join. Almost forgot. <laughs> <laughs> it would be funny to to wait for title Tuesday to start and then like everybody's already played high shogunot and then wonder like why am I not playing and that's because I simply forgot to uh to register <laughs> but okay now I registered two minutes till the start Hikaru Magnus Hans Duda and many more strong players are playing already 565 players joined. Karmara subbed in tier 3 for 71 months. Thank you so much. That is almost 6 years, if my math isn't wrong. Yeah, next month will be 6 years. That's huge. Thank you so much, Karmar. Hello. Hi, Frogger. Thanks. Okay, I don't know what that sound was, but there is 1 minute and 20 seconds left till the start with almost 600 players joined already. How is the camera? Camera is good. Let me know how is the sound. I think it's good. Hi to Uh I think the sound is good, but I'm not sure because when I turned on OBS it was off, so I changed it, but I think it should be good. Let me know though, please. One minute till the start. Over 600 players registered already. That's good. Okay, that's nice. That is very nice to hear. 45 seconds until the start, everybody. And I can scroll past for 40. Oh, can I? I can. Okay, chat, can I scroll? Yeah, I doubt it. I mean, I think I can, but I don't think if it's worth it. Uh, maybe I will. No, I will be in time for sure. 560 and there is 640 players. I do this apple. Thank you. 600 and there is 642 players. I'm right in time. I scrolled. Already 650 players. We may be, we may be getting 700 players if more people join uh, between the uh, through the tournament. 656. I think the starting will be about 660, uh, 658, and uh, yeah. All right. Let me turn on the emote only chat and let's go. Playing with the black pieces in the first round. Hey, is my thing Bishop G4 works here? Yeah, I think so. <coughs> Bishop f3. Yeah, here you go, queen d7. And if, okay, d5. I haven't checked d5 today. Uh, fun, fun fact is that I checked the exact same line until d5. I checked d takes c, but I didn't check d5 today. Uh, so I am not exactly sure what's the best way how to play after d5, but. I'll try. Should I take on b3? I think the best thing is just to play quickly. f5, bishop a4, queen f7, and then like e4. Looks interesting. Thank you so much, Panda, for tier 3, uh, for 53 months at tier 3. 
and uh, hidden pickles 500 bits thank you so much we have a hype train guys thank you should be h5 they think it works should be three here this a b take yeah thank you Thank you, Hidden Pickles. Appreciate it. And Logan to tier 1 for 23 months. Almost two years. Thank you so much, guys. Level 4 I train. Thank you, everybody. Thank you, thank you. Appreciate it. How are you doing, everybody? Yes, that's what I was... That's what, that was what I was calculating. I didn't calculate it too deeply. But I think if takes, takes bishop c4, d5 hangs, I win a pawn. If a, b9, b3, and karma 200 bits, thank you guys. And chess papercraft, hello, what is up? Yeah, I think I simply take, and after he takes, I take d5 hangs. And uh, if I'm not mistaken, I just blundered a knight. <coughs> I think, oh, he missed b4 chat. Lord, 200 bits, thank you guys. Thank you so much, everybody. Yes, he had B for winning night, but fortunately for me, he missed that. Ah, uh, yeah, I think takes perhaps is okay. Takes rook e7. Eh, 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 no, I think I have to take though. Rook e7 is unpleasant. Okay, rook e5, c6. This I was thinking rook d7. Oh, I'm not sure if I'm doing good. <laughs> But okay, yeah, thanks a lot everybody once again for the support, really appreciate it. Rook d5, now rook d7, rook d7, knight c6, looks fine. At least my knight is entrapped, you know? Uh, knight c6, rook e8 I take and I have knight d8, and then like c6, c5, king c7, I should get unpinned and I should be a pawn up, but I'm not sure. Crazy position, honestly. Ooh, and he's going to give a tier one sub to Shogunot. Thank you, Anonymous. Thank you. Very, very much. Uh, about to beat the new old high train record. Whew. All right, let's go here. Take, take, rook d1. Okay, he, he doesn't want to lose a pawn. Okay, let's go c4 anyways, because I want to take, take, and get rook d2. And then rook b2. Okay, should I just simply push the pawns, perhaps? This is this, rook d2, rook g6, rook b2, rook a6 can be... I'm not sure, rook no, king c7 walks under check, so I think b5. I don't know, though. This is good. Thank you so, so much, everybody, for the support. And the position is very interesting. Takes, takes, rook d2... King b7, rook g7, king b6, h4, rook b2, h5. Okay, I think king b7, rook g7, king b6, rook g6, king a5 is interesting. You say when I have as many passers, at least I'm thinking I should have as many passers. Maybe the best was to take on b2 and then king b7 and push the passers as fast as possible. I don't know, it's super, super complex position, especially for blitz. So we'll see what will happen. Let's take the juicer. Uh, yes, uh, here. I can take h5, rook d2, h6, rook d7, c3. Honestly, that may be good if I'm not miscalculating. Rook here. And then cut the king off. Rook d4, rook g rook g4, c3, h6, rook d6, yeah, let's go c3, I have three passers, you know, he has some passers as well, but I have three, um, doesn't guarantee a win or anything, but it just looks very cool, you know, <coughs> rook d6, c2, h7, rook d8, and then I want to push the b pawn, <coughs> I can have two, b4, king e3, b3, and then b2. Looks like I'm winning, but I may be wrong. He has rook c1. <coughs> then I gotta go rook h8, rook h7, and push my two pawns. Meanwhile, he'll still have passers, as, or he'll have passers of his own. So it's a really crazy game. Uh, should I? I think maybe I should just push the pawns, but I'm not sure. Should I try to save it? Or maybe I'll save one. I don't know if this is good, though. Rook f7, idea to push. Hi, Pookie, what's up? 
Thanks for 13 months. Uh, tier 1 appreciated very, very much. Let's, let's push, I think. King e6, rook c7 looks very nice. Though it may be a mistake because, yes, rook b2. Uh, rook c4, king e5, king c6. I don't know if I'm doing well or not. a4, let's push the pawn. S. a3. Rook a2, rook c5, rook a5. Crazy stuff happening. Yeah, but b2, a2. This should simply win, if I'm not mistaken. King c6, I take. He has two passers, but I cut his skin off. Should be winnable, <laughs> but I don't want to jinx it. Yeah, now check. King d7, rook a4, king e6. Whew, that was a crazy game chart. Not gonna lie, that was really, really fun, but yet really scary as well. Whew. Oh, I got a new hype training mode. Let's go. I got a ghosty mode. Nice, Gage, nice. GG, thanks, Chess Papercraft. Hi, Gage, Chess. Hi, Gage. Hi, everybody. Ah, crazy game. Okay, yeah, 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 yeah. Let me check the opening. Castle is a miss. I should take... Ah, yeah, right, I should take... Take, take, take this, and after this I take, take, take! And if he takes, I check here, rook c1, bam, his two pieces are dead. This, this. Queen 7 mistake I should have taken as well. That is very smart, honestly. Yeah, bishop f3. Bishop f3 is the idea here. Because here I saw d, queen f5, I'm like plus one or something. I saw that today. Okay, 0, 5, but it's comfortable position. I didn't know what to play after d5. I handled it well. Until I didn't, I blundered a knight. Fortunately for me, he missed b4 just trapping my knight. Uh, that was very, very lucky. He was much better anyways. He didn't see how to win. He was still slightly better, but then we got into this rook hand game. I was winning. Was I winning all the way? I think I was. Yeah, I was. Okay. I played the rook hand game. Well, that's nice. Yeah, it was. The rook hand game was pretty smooth, but what wasn't smooth was blunder in the night. <coughs> but <laughs> a win is a win. Ah. <sighs> Yeah, the candidates were epic. Yeah. But I, I, I did watch them live. <laughs> and the thing, because uh, candidates live, they started at like 10 p.m. here. And I'm going to bed in like one, two hours max. So I, I like watched first 10 moves and then I saw the rest of the game in, in the morning when I woke up. If I had the electricity, if not, then in the evening. Uh, okay, guys, emotionally. So, I wasn't really like that hyped about these candidates since I didn't watch them live. I mean, okay, so first 10 moves of each round, but uh, maybe 15, but it's not really, <laughs> not really too much. Ah, uh, g3. But yeah, they were interesting. Really nice comeback. From, of the tournament from Gukesh when he lost to Firuja uh, in this drone position with Tricky when he had the outside passer on the A file and Firuja had the extra knight when he blundered there but then he came back very well and got a deserved win of the tournament 94 I'm not sure if this is good but d6 hangs Okay, I can ruin his pawn structure. Uh, maybe queen h4, bishop e4, something like this. The idea is bishop e4 and checkmate. <coughs> but the problem is if bishop 6, even if I try bishop e4, he has a 5. 
And now I cannot take the bishop. I cannot take the bishop because the queen protects it. Bishop b6 is another good move with the same idea. I think it was a crazy rook d5, but I think I'm simply going to go like queen h6, bishop d5 or something. Maybe g4, bishop b4. A bone can nature. Queen e5 looks a little bit strange. I'm mean, sure he wants to win the pawn, but yeah. <laughs> that's that's a not pawn to want to take at the moment. I wanna go provoke f5, go bishop b1, and maybe g4. Look at my beast bishops chat. These are crazy. And then I wanna go g4. If e4, queen g7, if b c seems like gf. GFF6, this looks really nasty. <laughs> Let's try that. I, maybe it doesn't work, but it just looks absolutely, absolutely terrifying. So let's try it. <laughs> Look at these bishops. They are beasts. They are an absolute, they are absolute beasts. Um, yeah, can't I take? Sure, I somewhat kill my bishop, my beast, but don't forget that I have an open g-file. Mm -hmm. So I have another beast. Mm -hmm. And maybe if kid h8 I have a bad boom, I can sack the rook. Uh, and then rook f6, maybe. Just maybe, I'm not sure. Because this rook f6, bishop d5 is there. So I'm not sure. C5 looks nasty as well. This looks nasty. I'm not sure if this is good, but it just looks really nice. I want to get rook d7. If dc, I may have bishop e5 even. I don't know. I'm, ha I'm having fun, okay? <laughs> because rook d6 re looked really nice, but after b takes c, rook f6. The problem was bishop d5 and my f6 rook hangs. And that's what I didn't really like, you know? Fun thing is probably G takes F wasn't even the best move. Maybe at some lesson like King H one, maybe that was seen better. But okay, whatever. King H one he had King H eight Bishop G eight. So mm. let's try that. I didn't want to go Rook G one since there was Rook G eight. So yeah, let's try this. Because this also looks really nice. He takes this as threat. Otherwise Bishop B five or Rook D seven it's a threat. I have a lot of threats, you know. And queen d8. Uh, bishop, I uh, know, bishop e5. Oh, no, wait a second, bishop e5. Chat. Bam, if, if f takes e, f6, and if he takes h7 angst, and if he doesn't take queen g7, is mate, I think. And if he takes, he simply takes a queen. Maybe it's not the smoothest way to win, but a queen is a queen. And uh, uh, I have so many ways to win, I feel like. But yeah, can't I take queen eight f3? And if he takes bishop f6 mate, and otherwise it's completely winning. F e f6, rook e5, d l just go rook e5. And then f6. <laughs> I just want to get f6. Come on, man. Allow me play to allow me to play f6, please. This will be just such a great content. Come on, f e. Come on, come on. Take the rook. Take it. Let me play f6, please. No, my brilliancy. Oops. Ah, uh, any other brilliancy I can find? So I'm up on time. Do, 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 do. Oh wait, it's this is a free rook. <laughs> okay, I mean shame on him for not allowing f6, but I, I I think I played this game extremely well. These bishops are absolute beasts on b2 and b1. That was a great game. Whew. I like that. I like that. Nice win. Thank you. Thank you guys. 
Ah, what a shame that there was no. He didn't allow F6. That was such a brilliant. Look at this, F6. So now the threat is queen e7 since the bishop protects h7, right? I mean attacks, but protects for my queen. And queen g7 in case he blocks. This queen g7 made since the pawn protects the queen. This was just brilliancy, which he didn't let me do. Somehow, for some reason, the game wasn't opening, but now the analysis board is open. Ooh, that was so smooth! 94! But no brilliance. But the, look at this! He, he wasn't even better for a whole second. It was white advantage all game. Almost brilliant. Yeah, that was a great game. I'm in love with it. Queen d4. There was book. Rook d1, rook c8. Yes, rook c8, knight d4. Eventually, apparently, it's an inaccuracy. I don't know why. Oh, bishop a3. Look at this. d6 hangs. And this, knight e4. He doesn't have enough defenders as a pawn. Yeah, but but probably not in title Tuesday. Unless, I mean, okay, if it's some, if it's some, you can suggest an opening, but I will decide in what game to play. Because if if, if I'm playing against Magnus, I'm probably not gonna go for some crazy opening. Uh yeah, yeah, knight f six. I was already plus two, and then queen h six. I love bishop before bishop b one. Best, 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 best. Great move, which means technically best. The greatest, like the only winning move. Excellent. Yeah. Okay. I had to go for a brilliancy, which wasn't a brilliancy. Best. Best. Excellent. It was for the content. Best. That was a good game. Sure. For sure. Go ahead. <laughs> but yeah, you you may try to choose something specific. Though, if it will be some something crazy, which I'm sure not gonna play entirely easy, like Bone Cloud, uh, or something, you can try. But be aware that I may, I may, if I don't like it too much, I may decline and send you the points back, you know? So don't worry, your points will not go to waste. But I may just not play the the crazy opening if it will be crazy, you know? So you can try, but mm, just in case, you'll get your points back, so we'll see. So yeah, I'm not telling you not to go for Bone Cloud, you can go for anything you want, just... Be careful, or oh, bishop d5 and then bishop b7. Nice draw from white. And yeah, bishop 6 This should be a pretty simple draw. Ah, but I don't know if it will be that. No, it should be easy, but I'm not sure if it will be that easy. Two, 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 two. Why do you b6? Huh. Ooh, ooh, tricky. Ooh. Lost. <laughs> yeah, I don't know why b6 was played from white, honestly. Uh, I feel like they had so many ways to draw, but they just gave away a pawn. Okay. Final game of the round. Uh, rook end game with, with two points versus three. But it looks like white can need two. I don't know if, if whether it's white is playing for a win, honestly. It looks like they are. <laughs> Strange decision, but I mean, okay. Or they just didn't see the repetition, I don't know. Yeah, now c4. Uh, it should be a simple draw. But I said it should be a simple good draw in last game, and bam, white lost, you know, so. Am I gonna jinx anything? It, it is drawish position, I may say, that's for sure. How's the camera looking? Looking good. That can be five. Yeah, rookie okay, intro. The king is cut off by the white rook. So even if black takes, white takes, and see if I pawn it's going to fall. Alright, chat, I think it's time for emote only. Because I hope they won't play it for three years, and they don't. So, let's see who will be my next opponent. Maybe it can be some top GM? Maybe not, I don't know, we'll see. No, it's not top GM, okay. Still, let's not take it easy. Let's win, and maybe next game I can get top GM. So, let's go. Ta -da 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 
Oops, did I cancel my pre-move last second? I don't know, but okay. Okay, here I'm gonna go for 92. I like this. Ah, he's a boring guy. Doesn't go for bishop g7 and he goes for d5 stuff. Boring, but okay. It's fine. Actually, it's Kings Indian, but before it was East Indian defense, Pseperka variation. I have never heard of this variation, and I'm sure I mispronounced the name of uh, the person the variation is called for. What English am I speaking today, guys? <laughs> this opening is called for the person's name? Hey, <laughs> was it even English? That's a question. I forgot how to speak English yet. Apparently, after almost a month of no streams, I forgot how to speak English. The person in in honor of which the opening was called. This sounds a bit more like English already. I feel like <laughs> still not quite, but. I feel like it's getting it's getting there, you know. Um, the problem here is that he'll have a four and b three or a two pawns can be weak. I gotta play faster. Last game also was played perfectly for me, uh, by me since I put pressure on the clock that I'm thinking for a while, which is in great in blitz. Mm -hmm. yeah, I guess I'll go a3, queen b6, queen d1. Okay, here I'll go b4. Okay, sure. b4, d1. It's a bit, a bit, a bit uh, unpleasant since I have some holes on the light squares. Oh, yeah, this can be really unpleasant. I think I'll go queen d3 so that he doesn't have bishop c4 or knight c4 and maybe e4 ideas. Bishop b3 like rook e1 or rook d2. What? Wait, what? Why did he just give two pieces for a rook? What? Is this a blunder or what happened? <gasps> I am not sure this. Because usually you never want, like, almost never want to give two pieces for a rook. That's unusual. So d5. Strange, but okay, let's not take it easy. It's, I think it's a mistake, but we'll see after the game will end. If e4, I want to go bishop g7, e takes f. Yeah, let's go for e4. No, e5 hangs. Important pawn as well. Okay, I want to go rook c5, honestly. Queen d7 here, queen d1, bishop f1. Because this looks pretty decent to, to me. Or maybe I can even take with the bishop to trade his bishop to make his king weak. Bishop e5. Yeah, this looks good. I have bishop f1. Yeah, really, really strange decision from him to, to give away two pieces for a rook. I'm still, I'm still in shock. <laughs> I'm honestly not sure why he did that. Yeah, okay, if queen e1, I can probably even go, okay, or queen b3, I can probably even simply trade the queens and b still be completely winning. I'm not though 100% sure if I want to do that. Maybe I can, like, win easier somewhere. Mm, but, 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 I gotta play, I think, a bit quicker. I don't have too much time left. I mean, a minute is still quite a long time, but yeah, I'm gonna move. Rook c7, yeah, rook c7, queen c4, knight c4. This looks smooth, honestly. Just take, take. He will have b pawns as a weakness. Not only because he doesn't have many pieces, I have two pieces to attack with, and he has only a rook to defend with, but also this just loses to 97. But also because my bishop is light squares light squared and the points are light squared so it would be easy to attack but he just uh, 
he just found a really nice way to not lose an exchange. Well done. Very well done. Okay, but I think I'm gonna go here and simply go knight to c5, attack both of the pawns. If b6, I'm gonna take b5, I'll go like e3, and use my light square bishop to grab the pawns, and this should be winning. Perhaps if you'll play like king of eight, okay, I think e3, just a calm move, keeping my pawns on uh, light, the light, dark squares, opposite to the color of my bishop. Just gotta wanna get my knight somehow to attack the pawns, something like this looks very nice, or knight d6, I don't know why I'm talking so much and so fast, but <laughs> I haven't talked in a while, okay, knight c3, it is to take the pawn, I'll take it with a bishop, uh, now I even take it with the knight, the idea is even after rook 8, uh, pawns don't hang, okay, now I'm just gonna be a little bit careful, let's go, let's go knight b6, and let's go bishop c4 and b5. So that my bishop controls the pawn and that he will never ever grab it unless I move it or sacrifice it or exchange it. Uh, yeah, I think I think b5 is a great move. And I'll go bishop g8 with the idea if rook a7 knight c8 or otherwise I want to go knight c4 or bishop h7. Let's go knight d5. Hey chat, okay, let's, 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 let's just go here. <laughs> it's not be fancy. I'm gonna be a pawn up anyway, so I'll just ruin his pawn structure. Because I don't wanna, uh, by an accident, lose, lose a minor piece. Okay, if king c5, knight e6. Uh, here. I bit scuffed the realization technique for me. He has to go rook g7. Okay, now this is just a win. It was a little bit scuffed, but anyways, I think it was a great game. It wasn't a great game until he blundered, but after that it was a great game. <laughs> uh, yeah, I think I was a little, a little, I don't, I, I was still completely winning. I just think it wasn't the most practical way to win, how I did it. Yeah, but I win is a win. Nice. I I I think I could have taken the h7 pawn much easier than I did because I didn't even take it. Uh, but I was a little bit worried since I didn't have much time. I was first of all, yeah, it was winning already for the whole game. But I was first of all a tiny bit worried here since some rook a8. Thank you, Special the Jewel for 500 bits. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, I was worried a bit something about this. I didn't. He didn't have rook f8 since 97. But there was these tricks, you know, where I could have maybe lost a minor piece. So I, I was a bit worried. Yeah, knight f6. I don't know why I didn't simply go knight f6 since I'm forcing the pawn to move. But okay, I play knight f4. I was still completely winning. Maybe it would be difficult if you would find rook g7. But still, it's pretty much simply won. I, I just play g4 and it should be. Should be an easy win, maybe, or maybe not, honestly. It says 0 0.9, maybe I threw the adventure away, but I am not sure. Uh, but he blundered, and I won. Let's check the accuracy. 91.5. Pretty smooth key. Nice! Maybe I can get it off GM now, chat! <laughs> maybe I can get it off GM now. I am not sure. And I got two whites in a row, surprisingly, you know? That's really... Really unusual to get two whites in row in round two and three. Usually you get them more, more, more in the tournament, more deep into the tournament. But okay. Oof, G6 just won on the spot. Rook C6, King H5. Rook C7, yeah, this. It is rookie seven, I think. You have to go rookie seven. Eh, now you give checks. Eh, no, no, no. You go rookie seven, king g6, and then rookie seven. No, rook f7 is too close. Ooh. 
You don't have a win. Rook e7. You tried every, every single script on the d7. Thank you so much for the follow. Ah, yeah, the, or, or rook on d6. Uh, the idea is pretty much g6 and then rook d8, d8 stuff. And now king f7, rook f8, so you gotta be careful for stalemates. But somewhere is a win, right? Yeah. Somewhere should be a win for sure. Yes, and then rook e8, king f6. Oh, yeah, this is this is completely winning, but it's three. Oh, it's not a stalemate. I thought it's a stalemate, but kid h6, there is g8. There is king h6. Yeah, okay, fun game. Fun game, fun game. Uh, emote only off. Uh, emote only on, my, my bad. Let's see. Maybe Magnus? Anish! Ooh, okay. Not Magnus, but a top GM. Okay. All right. I was close to Magnus, like five, five players or something. Okay, maybe not five, but like five to ten players. Close, but Danish, not a great pairing. Okay, he goes for the pawn immediately. <clears throat> Can you afford some time to think? To spend some time to think? I'm not sure if f5 is the best. Rook h5, f takes c, rook a h1, with rook h7, a d s e for hangs, I'm not sure, but we'll see. Some e5 stuff there, we'll see. Maybe it'll not even go for a rook h5 and take e f. I don't know. <laughs> Dancing totally juvenile. <laughs> yeah. You remember Totally Journal, you were also an artist, you drew portraits, you remember? Maybe I can go e5 immediately and then e takes f, if f, e, bishop, I know, if f, e, f, e looks really great. Let's go e5. f, e, f, e, e, d, rook, f2, if this I take, I think, I, I mean, maybe I'm not better, maybe it's around equal, but it's a complex position, I like that. And, uh, yeah. And if rook f5, I simply take, 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 take h3, or rook f8, it should be fine. And otherwise, I want to take or take. Yeah, I just want to take a lot of pieces. <laughs> uh, yeah, take, take. Hey, Crash Damaris, thank you so much for tier one at nine, uh, for, uh, for nine months at tier one. Thank you, Crash Dummy. Appreciate it. How are you doing? Okay, he took on e4. Hmm, I have rook a, e8, and knight d6, I have rook f2, rook d2, this, and if rook here, I go rook e5, and then simply take bishop e5, this looks quite, <laughs> quite interesting, I'm not sure, maybe I'm playing with fire, but it looks really exciting, you know, it looks fun, and we are here for content, most importantly. Bishop e5 to protect the pawn. I mean, I can take, but I think also the bishop, when it's developed, it's a good piece. Since, yeah, my knight is already doing quite well here. 
think I want to develop my bishop more than the knight because it's already developed. Knight e3. He wants to develop his knight. To g4. Ooh, yeah, maybe it was actually better to take with the knight. <laughs> go here because if there won't be this knight on e4 I think it will be quite okay ah, but yes knight g5 yeah mm. now knight d3 and yes knight g4 Oof. okay 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 here if rook h7 bishop f6 and then this hangs wanna go knight e4 or something oh he goes knight d5 scary stuff <coughs> and my time advantage also disappeared okay knight e7 to trade the knights knight c7 rook c8 yeah let's try it Will it go knight b5 and knight c3 or something or not? Or what? Knight e6 takes. Hey, knight g5 is a bit tricky. Okay, let's go d5. If knight g5, I'll take this. Can I take and then rook e8? Rook e1, rook e7, rook e5, c3 tricks this rookie one have bishop c3 i think though <sighs> but yes rook h5 gosh time i think this works king f7 also looks nice Thank you for the follow. takes hmm. let the king out still not over
Yeah, I think I could have won somewhere. Now it's drawish. But I'll try till 50 move rule chat. <laughs> I have to. He may blunder. Unlikely, but may happen. Yeah, he just tends. <laughs> yeah, ah, the king was trapped on C1. It felt so good. Yeah, okay. Anish knows how to draw rook and bishop versus rook. Good game. Good game. I'm not sure if I was winning. It felt nice. But that was an epic game anyway, Chad. That was so nice. That was so brilliant. <laughs> you feel so perpetual. <laughs> I did, I did. Ah, it's break time. Oh, Chad, it's break time. Chad, it's break time. Hang on. Let me quickly analyze the game and I'll go on a break. I forgot that it's round four and it's break. I was wasting everybody's break time. I was winning for one move. But I wasn't there. King G6 was a blunder. Ah, King of 5 and draw. Uh, and win. Yeah, okay, right. Mm -hmm. No, that was no mate. We played 97 accuracy. I just missed one move. Okay, child. Great game. We both found the brilliancy. Pretty good, pretty nice. Break time. Ah, break time hasn't even started? Huh? What? There's still games going? This wasn't the last game going on? Sheesh! Okay, I thought that was the longest. <laughs> you only can do that. <laughs> yeah, so apparently there was... I was thinking somewhere here there should be some mate. The king was so boxed in, but there was no mate. Crazy. Okay, now the break time started. See you later. <laughs> See you in about three, four, five minutes, chat. See you soon.
Hello everybody, I'm back. 50 seconds, almost a minute left. Ah, uh, okay. I wanted to check. Thank you for the follow. I wanted to check. Yes, the opening was good. Knight DC mistake. So knight G4 is better. With AD after rook H1, I am returning knight F6. Okay. Uh -huh. This and it's hard to attack h5 and f5 was a mistake e5 was an inaccuracy but practically it's hard to find knight e3 with the idea after f e f5 i think yeah that's hard to find you know uh he took rook a8 was best that was such a nice move and then and then and then and then d5 and dc brilliancy that was nasty and then king f7 and then i was winning but uh, yeah, I didn't find the win. <laughs> Still a great game. Oh, exactly. Perfect for the round. Emote only. And two blacks in a row. Sheesh, against Bortnik. Ah, <laughs> get two whites in a row against 25, 26 hundreds, and I'm bam. Two blacks in a row against top GMs. Fun. But okay, let's go. Totally journal, are you an artist or did you quit being an artist already? Because I remember you were drawing beautiful portraits. Did you stop, unfortunately? <laughs> oh no. Now you're just dancing <laughs> for 10 minutes already. I think bishop e7, castle bishop e6. <laughs> That's some crazy moves you got there, totally doodle. Be careful with the dances to not break anything. <laughs> it looks dangerous even through emotes, you know. He doesn't have 92 since I had a 4. Uh, this f5, take, take. I have 2. Yeah, I think f5 is interesting. <laughs> and Pookie dance too much. That's, 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 not, nothing broke, but Mubud man. Uh, time team out. <laughs> that's another, another risk of dancing too much. Should be, yeah, maybe I should have played rook 8 immediately. Just waste the tempo. But I provoke knight d5, so maybe it's not even a waste. Since if he wants to protect e4 square, he maybe has to return by himself. So maybe it wasn't even a waste of tempo. Yeah, queen h5 is a threat. Oh, that looks like an unpleasant threat. Okay, h6, queen e8. Sink. It's fine, hopefully. And king g8. Rather walk oh no, because what is this threat? He isn't even threatening to do anything, is he? Maybe I can go like e4 and push. Yeah, how should I? Just be careful and just play yeah, maybe I should just play king g8 honestly. Because bishop h6 knight check knight g5 tempo. I may walk okay, maybe I drew this maybe it was an unnecessary move, I don't know, but let's be safe. <laughs> Oh, maybe that's oversight, but okay. <laughs> totally jewel. Oh my goodness. <laughs> so many dense moves you got. Sheesh.
C is pretty annoying, so maybe I should play knight b4, and then bishop b4, and like bishop d6. Honestly, let's try it. I like the, the idea, because knight on d5, like, I don't know how to even say, but he's not, he's making me suffocate a bit. He's taking some squares from my pieces away. Mm-hmm. Uh, queen e6 now, I think. So that my I, I can move my knight if needed. Not rook d6 because they're here at a3. Okay, this e4. And then f4 ideas. e4, d5. <laughs> okay. e4, d5. A bit unpleasant. Queen f6, bishop d4. Queen f7. Yeah, okay, whatever. d5, queen f7, knight d4, f4, bishop c1, e3 is interesting. Queen f7, knight d4, I want to go f4, bishop c1, rook e8, if bishop d2, perhaps take, 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 e3, knight f4. This is this. E3, rook e2. Hold on, I gotta play faster, my time advantage disappeared, unfortunately, but okay. Knight e6 is still a move. Oof. I thought I can take, but then uh, my queen hangs. Okay. So queen of six and so now rook e6 is an idea, at least. <laughs> I want to trade the queens. I think I must. Maybe. There it is, he takes D. Here. Yeah. Okay, fate, no. Nice move. Why didn't I go knight c4? What did I do? No! No, what did I do with it? Was this as well? Oh my goodness, did I clutch? That's so unfortunate. Why did I go knight g4? Why did I simply go knight f, knight c4? I was so winning. No. Oh my goodness. What a throw, knight c4. That's just a whole piece up. Ah, that hurts. Ah, yeah, 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 that hurts.
It was so close. Yeah. And I think I had a draw as well. I think I managed to swindle it somehow. But mm, <laughs> I didn't. Yeah. Ah, okay. It was such a nice game though. I played it so well until I blundered in one move. It was a piece up. <laughs> I had two seconds. I completely panicked. I completely panicked. I just felt like, yeah, I don't know how I found these moves. E okay, E3 was a mistake. So they were blunders. I was better. 95. I somehow found Queen G3. I'm lost. He blundered back. He blundered that Queen G3 is a check. We are both blundering. And then I blundered that 94. I just said 94, he can resign. <laughs> yes, 94, literally nothing. He, he moves his queen, I'm winning. I played 94 because I was on the second. I panicked. Somehow, somehow, I don't know what we were doing. I was dead lost. I blundered mate in one. He didn't see mate in one. We both were throwing, blundering. I don't know what were we were doing. Uh, I played queen b2, blundered pawn. Perhaps I simply should have taken. I would never have uh, lose that. Because I thought I'm getting mated by a fruit g8. Uh, <laughs> queen v2, queen f6. Something is happening, I don't know what. It's a draw. I see rook f5 blunder, but then I have some perpetual. Then suddenly, I had rook f4 with an easy draw. I didn't see rook f4. Then suddenly, perpetual is gone. Then suddenly, it's a draw, and give a blunder upon, and I lose. <laughs> what was this game? I don't know. <laughs> oh my goodness, that was funny. That was very funny. Okay. I actually didn't check the accuracy, but I think it was like 60. <laughs> Every move was a blunder. It was so funny. Oh, <laughs> that was the funniest game so far of the tournament. So I think I was winning. Suddenly I wasn't winning, I was lost. Then he blundered in completely one position. I was winning again. I don't know what happened, chat. This was a mad game. Mm. And that was fun. That was content, at least. It wasn't a uh, content in a win, you know? It wasn't a content because I won. But it was some crazy content. I, I still don't know what happened. <laughs> We were on two seconds for like 20 moves in a row or something. So we weren't even thinking. We just tried to make the move uh, to make the move so that we wouldn't flag. And somehow we were making them. Somehow we were blundering. That was a mad game. I think knight of five, knight of six. I just win something. No. Okay. If GF queen d two. It's a nice position. If knight of one, I would have simply. Maybe it's not a nice position, but okay. Uh, there I would simply have this knight g four, knight e five would be better. Whew, I need to. I need to change my breath. Breath. <laughs> Game was so mad. Let's go queen c2. The idea is c takes d if e d queen f5 and if c d queen c7. c d queen c7, knight d5. Knight yeah, okay, queen c7. This looks nice. Oh, this looks really cool. I have the c file. Totally Juno back with the dance moves. Yes. That's what we missed. Whew. He took. Yeah, but okay, wait a second. I'm having the second rook. How are you gonna get rid of that? I mean sure he may have probably take and play b5 or something. And bishop of eight. Yeah, that's probably what he's gonna do. But uh, uh, a famous a famous quote goes: "Rook on seventh rank is dangerous." I am not sure if that's even a quote, or I made it up on the go. Probably second uh, second option. But rook on seventh rank is usually quite nice to have. But he has bishop f8, bishop d6 ideas, which is nice that he has that. Uh, perhaps I can go here, here. Yeah, I think I'm actually gonna go with that. I'm not sure if the, uh, go there. I'm not sure if this is good, but I wanna take with a deep one. Ah, that's a terrible idea. 
because he has 98. My rook is trapped. Yeah, that's mm, 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 that's not great. And if I take, he takes uh, bishop of one, knight e8, rook d7, he also has a repetition. And if I go like rook c1, rook c1, king e7, b4, knight d6 is also in time. I, 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 I miscalculated a bit, but okay, let's take. I think it's a risk free position. Anyways, let's go bishop of one. Maybe repeat once. Maybe like, or rook c5 or something. Hold on, knight of six, rook d6, king e7, rook b6, king d7, rook b4, with the idea of bishop here, but it's not even an idea because then I protect the rook and b5 bye bye to my rook, so not the best idea I think I've had today. <laughs> uh, but yeah, rook c7. Um, what is better? c5 is interesting, but perhaps a square like c2. c3 can be hit by his knight, but c2 that I can go behind my pawns to try to push them. I'm not sure. Okay, a4. Ah, it's going to be difficult or not easy to win. Okay, I want to go a5, b5. At least try. Rook b2, b5, rook b5, and maybe create something. I don't know. We'll see. Oops. I gotta go b5. Bishop d3. Where is no probably bishop is gonna be better on e2 since it can go to h5 and it also controls the pawn so it can go to h5. Rook b2. Oh, but now rook a7. Okay, he takes. Let's take with some ideas of like rook b8, rook h8, and maybe bishop h5. Because on d3 bishop would be doing nothing and on f1 pretty much doing nothing as well, I think. But now I wanna go like maybe bishop h5, maybe rook b8. Rook b8? Ah, and rook a8. Aye. Bishop b5, king d6, rook b6. Mm, okay, let's go back. Let's go back, let's go back. You know what? Why did he allow me to play bishop h5? I wonder. Is it good for him? Okay, bishop f7. Trying to be annoying. Try to... Collect this pawn. E5 is a nice move, actually. A move that I underrated, but a very nice one. Mm, 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 mm. Let's go rook d1 to put pressure, and if he takes, take with the rook. My idea is like bishop g8, bishop h7, attack the pawn. <sighs> Something like this. Uh, king d6. F4 is annoying. Maybe I should go king g2. Ah, yeah, king g2, king e7, bishop g8, pawn moves, and de. He wants to take and leave a weakness for me. Ah, time as well. Ah, yeah. Ah, yeah. Oh, the clock, the clock chops. Oh no! I, why am I giving? Why am I giving him an opportunity to bring his skin over? I don't know. <laughs> okay. Okay. Check. Bye bye, kin. Bye bye. Okay, free pawn. Yeah, it's probably a draw though. F4. I'll try though. Don't get me wrong, I'll keep trying since it's time trouble. Easy to miss something. Uh, but it's equal ish position. And of course, I'm, have, I'm the one who is trying. <laughs> it's very equal.
at least I don't have the uh, rook pawn. Push the pawns, push, push. Hey, 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 seven, no, let's go. <laughs> so I think it was better for like the most of the okay maybe not better but I, I at least had to the, the more comfortable position let's call it eight, like that uh, and the nice rating number 282 okay 95 accuracy very good okay it wasn't better like at all it was a smoother draw ah king e5 won king e6 missed h5 was a miss back immediately he had some draw but yeah in time trouble it's difficult to see but it's a I want to see the accuracy against Bordney because the game felt terrible. <laughs> Whew. Nice game. Nice game. I liked it. Oh god. <laughs> Look at that. Look at the middle of the game. Mistake, mistake, mistake. Yeah, that was fun. <laughs> I got a good position out of the open and good time adventure as well. I messed up somewhere here and moved 20. Okay. How oh, about that was fun? <laughs> stockfish, 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 I don't know. That's some heart attacks along the way. <laughs> ah! White is also trying to win rook, uh, rook Bishop versus Rook. I had it today as well. How many moves was it already? It wasn't that much even. Aye. Aye. Okay, I was... Ah. Where did the bishop go? Okay, emote only. Wait, did white flag? Ah, oh, no, draw. Okay, it's not white flagged. <laughs> that would be funny. Okay. Okay. Black. See, will he go e4, will he go d4? I think this guy was on leeches and his account got closed. And if I'm not mistaken, he's a London guy. But I may be mistaken. Or he may have switched repertoire. Yes. I wasn't mistaken, chat. <laughs> I, I was very well, I was very not mistaken, as you can see. <laughs> Didn't change the repertoire. In like three years, he was, his account was closed. Oof, I was worried about 95. Do 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 London is so boring. There is literally no content to get in London. Why do people play London? It's the most boring opening in the world. I mean, you know, Catalan is boring. But Catalan is like boring end game. Here it's boring, but it's middle game. So you have to calculate more, you know? That's why it's even more boring and tiny bit, I don't want to say annoying, but a bit more, let's say, unpleasant to play. Catalan is like dead draw out of move 10. This is like, uh, it's not a dead draw, you know what I'm talking about? It's it's very, very equal, with very, very little chances of playing for a win, but it's very, very long games as well, and quite difficult to hold them. So, yeah, don't play London Chart. <laughs> Please play Catalan. <laughs> uh, Queen C6? Queen C6, he wants to go Queen G6. 
So I think if I go queen c6, uh, no, maybe king h7, knight f6 is better, honestly. Yeah. Or maybe not. Ah, no, I have f5. That is good. I have f5. Because I had a funny, uh, a funny, a funny thing happen in uh, 2022. I was playing European Rapid Championship, and in first round I got an opponent who was 1500. We got the London. Uh, no, okay, we, not we got the London. He played the London, so technically we got the London. But I, it wasn't. It wasn't. Uh, it wasn't. Uh, uh, English left the chat today. It wasn't. Both agreed on it. You know, you get the point. Uh, there is a really nice word which I completely forgot, but okay. Uh, and it was a 15 plus 10. So I tr e4, okay. I, I tried like my hardest. <laughs> I literally tried, oh my goodness. I literally tried my hardest to get the most complicated position possible. We were move 15. I already saw for 10, 10 minutes of 12. I was in somewhat of a time trouble. I was trying my hardest to not get in a drawish position. Move 15, move 20, and then BAM! He wonders a piece in one move. <laughs> so I tried my best to complicate the things. And it, 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 it didn't even get to the complications. Since he just wandered in one move. <laughs> and I thought for like more than two thirds of my time trying to complicate things up just for them to not even complicate at all <laughs> mm. it was very funny okay I mean it wasn't like funny for me because I spent I spent so much time I, I've been seeing like people around me finished like in five minutes finished finished and I'm there trying oh, hey you what did I do how do I make my board bigger? Ah, there. Oh, it's too small for me. Uh, <laughs> all my neighboring boards were finishing, winning in like five minutes. And there I was trying to complicate the London. And my opponent just managed in one move later. I'm actually going to try to keep the rooks. Ah, that was fun. <laughs> This, again, it wasn't really fun because I, w I was trying my best not to draw because drawing against the 1500 in round one isn't really good for your tournament standings and tiebreaker and future opponents to you cannot get top GMs or anything and all that stuff. Bam, one more blunder. <laughs> 12 minutes of life got wasted. <laughs> but yeah, you cannot do anything about it at least if you are focusing on the positives at least now I got a funny story to laugh at <laughs> you know I could have got a quick win completely forget this game like I did round two because I don't think it maybe it was I think it was a quick win I already forgot what happened there but now this game I will remember this game for a long time B4, I want to go bishop c6, bishop d7, transfer my bishop to this diagonal, bam, take on h3. Uh, since I cannot take because rook d4 is there. <laughs> okay, queen g5. My bishop on d4 is a beast. Hey, don't you dare touch my beast. No, my beast. And that's a fork. Ah, chat. The beast. <laughs> it was a beast while he lasted. Now I got a terrible eight bishop left. <sighs> okay, can I play bishop e3? Uh, maybe I can play bishop e5 and keep the beast. Chat. It's not over. Oh, he doesn't even want to trade the beast. Yippee. Trade my bad bishop. I'm all for it. Please. Just trade him. Just trade my bad c6 bishop, please. 
Okay, now I don't care about the pawn. I want to go bishop h3. Ooh! I don't care about the pawn because... So I don't care about it. Oh, he wants to trade the beast again! No! Okay, I gotta give away my bad bishop to save the beast. Because the beast is a beast, you know? Uh, king g7. Tricky guy. Ay, ay, ay. Good g5. Woo! Woo! Oh, I miscalculated. I chat. What am I doing? But I still have the beast, so do not worry. No! Don't take h5. No! No! Don't take the beast! Should I actually think I lost the game because of the beast? <laughs> Focused too much on it. Did I lose? Ah, tricky. Or did I lose? Likes checking a lot. Push. Ah! Stop checking me. <laughs> no. Can you stop? <laughs> Please just stop. Eh, okay, he stopped checking, but he promoted. I'd much rather him continue checking, but <laughs> but not promote. Yeah, I think I had a draw. I misplayed it. I think I had a draw. Some point again, and then I blundered it away. Ah, unfortunate. I was better, I feel like. Oh, maybe I wasn't better. It just felt because of the beast high gear chess. It felt good because of the beast, but then the beast uh, didn't get beast in. And yeah, I think I should have paid more attention to bishop f7. I underestimated it. Uh, what happened? Okay, it was. I was slightly better. Yeah, rook d5. Rook d5 was just a terrible move. He had no threats at all. Look at this. Rook cannot do anything. He couldn't do anything. And then I just sacrificed exchange for no reason. <laughs> yeah, just bishop b3. Just wait. Just wait with the beast. Then I was dead lost. Somehow he managed to mess it up. Then it was dead draw, but I had no time, and then I managed to mess it up again. And I lost. I don't know how I was holding. Yeah, it was hard to hold with three seconds. It's excuse. I know it's it's just excuses, but uh, he has this pawn. He has he has an extra pawn, and I have three seconds. Meanwhile, he has fifteen. So it was difficult to hold. But okay, at least I got a decent position out of the opening. I messed up there. I don't. Yeah, I just left myself too little time, and I also allowed uh, for whatever reason I allowed bishop uh, bishop f seven, which I feel like I could have not allowed. I, I just didn't you know what to play here. Yeah, probably okay, queen d8 with a draw. Whatever, whatever, whatever. It's fine. It's a fine-ish game as well. Just left myself too little time. Ah, okay. Let's see. Is there any games left? Because I felt like this one was one of the longest games. It was around as well. Ooh, rook bishop versus rook. How many moves was it? Okay, it should be a draw. Like any move now. Yeah. Chat! Immortally! Take care!
Do 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 uh, you don't have time to think whether it was good that you lost it or not. Chat, ah, I've seen some nice move today. I haven't checked it deeply. But I've seen some sin today. I just want to try it. I know it probably isn't good. But I, I checked it was like minus zero one or something. I honestly am not sure if this is good. But I just I, I just saw it today and I was like, oh, I gotta try that. I don't know how to play it. I just saw G4. <laughs> um, probably would be nicer to know what, what to play after just G4. So far it feels like I'm a pawn down and castleless. That honestly looks terrible. I may or may not have seen it in another another move order without e6. Uh, so then then it works. I've just seen g4. I just yeah we will we will see. <laughs> <laughs> we will see. I mean, you know, we are streaming for content, you know. You know, you only live once. I gotta try stuff. Have fun as well. Sure, you maybe do have a bit more fun when you are not trying to not get made it in twenty moves. But I mean, this, there is also some 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 fun here as well. <laughs> uh, you, you know, you're trying to. Maybe it wasn't the perfect place to try it in Tidal Tuesday. Eh, we'll see. We'll see. No, I think, yeah, probably it's better to check the move just between trying it. <laughs> um, before trying something dubious, you better, guys, check the move order. That's the lesson of today. Oh, my, oh, no, my clock. I'm just, I'm just, I don't know what I'm doing. I'm, I'm, I'm just trying to complicate things. <laughs> oh, man. Fun. This is the definition of fun. Trying things and forgetting that you checked it in a different move order. <laughs> C5, D6, wait a second, D6, D6. Queen G5. Maybe B5. Chat, I think he may be complicating things and that is good for me. Complications are absolutely beautiful for me. So I need to complicate things as much as possible. Okay, maybe not as much, so I, I, I also know how to play. But I need to calculate, complicate them at least a bit. And I don't have much time. That can be a slight problem. <laughs> Chad, isn't this the content you related today? Isn't this the top tier content? Drawing gear isn't that that contentful as this. <laughs> this is the absolute uh, the absolute peak of content, isn't it? Being a rook down with a keen on C3 because I wanted to try something new, huh? <laughs> this is the 
peak of content. There is no better content than that. <laughs> I mean, you know, we gotta have fun, chat. Imagine I'll win that. That will be like the, the absolute peak of content ever. Take the bishop. Queen of three, no queen of three. I'm just getting mated. Eh? Okay, queen trade. I'm low on time. That's slight, slight inconvenience. Why didn't I take the pawn? I want to keep the knights. I don't know if this is good because queens are over the board and I'm an exchange down and I'm low on time. But okay, whatever. There is 54 title Tuesdays a year. So I'll have a lot of other times to try. I just saw this brilliant idea and imagine I'll win it. And I will win it, chat. Do not worry at all. I have an active king and since it's endgame, active king is... A great piece, you know? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So don't you worry. Pawns in an active key. <laughs> oh my gosh. Go, my pawns! Come on. I believe in you. And go, my king. Woo! Chat! Chat! This is happening! It is happened! Let's go! Yes! You see, it's a brilliant C! 3G4! An absolute brilliant C! Don't watch it, the stockfish analysis! No, 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 no! It's a brilliant C! Oh my gosh! Okay, G4 is just an inaccuracy. The problem was I just didn't know how to follow up. <laughs> I just saw E4 93. Then how do you play? Nobody knows. But I mean, the, you gotta. You, I mean, that's that top tier content, even drawing on this because many people drew him. But that, that is the content of the day. Deep theory, no game slate. Okay, what do you mean? G four, three game slate. Aha! You see, Dayak even played that, even twice. I mean, chat. If Derek and I played that and he drew one game and he won another game, then this is a great opening. Mm -hmm. I was just minus three. But then, 95! Yeah, chat! Just a chat! Okay, Queen E3 was a miss. But this position is plus two for white. <laughs> I don't know how and why and what, but this is plus two. I messed up. But then he messed up the queen trade, and I had brilliant pieces. And then my bishop, my pawn, my king absolutely dominated everything. <laughs> ah, Magnus Icaro. It looks like he's heading to a draw. Mm. Oh. <laughs> what a brilliant scene. Deep Syria. I just knew how to play first five moves. I was slow on time, but I had an active king. That is why, guys, you need to activate your king. <laughs> as you saw, as you saw, my king was extremely active. On move 18, he was on c3. I mean, it's a bit unusual that you see that, but it's theory. It is still theory. I, uh, here I'm even plus two, so I don't know what you're talking about. It's theory. <laughs> oh gosh. <laughs> I had too much fun this game. I had too much fun. I'm not gonna try that again, but I had too much fun. That's what I'm gonna tell. Oh, that was too fun.
The active cannon connected. Yes. Yes. That's how you win chess games. Queen of four, e three, draw. Yep. I mean, they have played that, but I, I can't, I can't say, yeah, yeah. Actually, Chad, as you know, there is alien gamut. Should I try to get an, a, 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 a 3G4 a book move? I actually think I should, Chad. This is my long term goal to get 4G4 a book move. Chad. This is it. I, I I should play it. I should play that. Thank you for an idea. No, no, the no, Crash Navi, what happened? But thank you f so much for an idea, totally you know. That is gonna be check it out in a couple of months or maybe even shorter. 4G4 is gonna be a book move. Alright, was this the last game of the round? Uh, no, there is one game left. Which will end soon, I suppose. Okay, chat, I'm out of water. This game is ending in two moves, three moves, now two moves, now one move. Break time. I will see you in a few minutes since I need to refill the water. Take care, everybody.
my water, everybody. I'm back. How are you doing? Whew. Is it Titans or Peshkatch's Gambit? Peshkatch's honestly sounds even better. Or oh, Titans. I'm fine with both. If this gets a book move and gets called either of these, perfection. <laughs> Because there has to be already book move uh, with Chernai variation in Berlin since I made the Berlin variation where I won 0, zero, zero <coughs> instead of Berlin draw. So that has to be, but okay. I'll give them time to add me as a book move. Okay. Okay. Let me adjust all my pieces. Oops, uh -huh. Recently, I ate half of my pieces <laughs> instead of adjusting, but okay. What I think I had in the wrong one. Ah, uh, if I'm not mistaken, hold on. There's some nice line suck in a pawn. Which I'm forgetting. E. Queen d3, knight g5, bishop b7, bishop f7. King of eight. Ah, that's not where I want to spend my time. I think there is something. I may be mistaken, but I mean I want with 4G4, so uh, we'll see. At the very least I have 98. But okay, Bishop B7, Bishop B7, King of Fate. Bishop G6, take, take, is the, the knight hangs. He goes, he goes, he goes, knight of 3, I go E4, then I go like knight E5, Bishop H3. Looks pretty good to me, I think. I think this is the best way to play. But I'm not sure. Maybe I'm mis missing something. <laughs> maybe it's king d8 and not king f8, huh? Or maybe it's hg actually. Hold on. Hg, he has queen f3 trading the queen, so I have bishop f5. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Interesting. Hg, queen of three, bishop of five. The knight hangs. How do you protect it? If yeah, this. Honestly, Hg looks very juicy. This bishop of five. Maybe a mistake, but looks nice. At least looks like a nice mistake. <laughs> Aesthetic mistake. If it is a mistake. Ninety six, king g eight. Knight c7, I take, I go rook f8. His pieces are not developed. He may be two points up. But look at his pieces. Picking of seven was better. Yeah, but now I take and rook d8. Isn't the knight trapped, first of all? Rook d8. Where does the knight go? Ah, he may go through a8. Then I go bishop d eh, eh, eh. Or should I go rook f8 and just mate him? <laughs> this looks fun. Rook f8, d4. Take, take. Yeah, okay, I'll go rook f8. I just want to mate him. This looks so cool, chat. Maybe rook d8 was better, I don't know, but this looks fun. <laughs> yeah, okay, I'll go bishop d6 just in case. I'm, I'm just going to put another piece towards his king. And my idea is just bishop d3, rook f3, e4, just suffocate his queen side. <laughs> so rook e1, oh no, rook e1, bishop d3, but okay, let's say, I don't know, he does, it's my turn, bishop d3, rook e1, rook f3, rook e3, e4. King side is pretty much not alive. If he has rook e1 now, I'm gonna think, I'm gonna think, find something. For sure. Also, gotta include my knight to the game. He goes rookie one. I think that's probably one of the the only moves how he can 
continue playing. Okay, let's stay quickly. Bishop d3, rook e3. e4, f e. Rook h2. It may be a little bit too goofy. <laughs> Or maybe not. Or maybe not. I'm not sure. Go here, 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 here. Knight e5 is AD of knight f3. If f4, bishop c5, f e, rook f1, king g2, bishop e3, takes rook c1, I take. <laughs> just what they made him. <laughs> and I just don't want to let him develop his queen side. And I also want to put pressure on his lock. <laughs> I mean, knight of 3 is a threat. King g2, I have something like knight g4, rook f2. Is it bishop c5? This queen take is dead. <laughs> Fe rook f1, not bishop e3 since knight e3 and f1 is protected. But rook f1. Okay, he wants to develop. Ay, 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 no, 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 no. No development for you. I'm sorry. Okay, knight g4, I want to take on h2. Or I can go here. I can take. If he takes with the pawn knight f3. Play knight f3 immediately. So many options. I'll just do this. Knight f3 and bishop b4. And rook h2. The knight is trapped. What a game that was! That was such a nasty game, Chad! That was probably the best game I've played so far! I'm not sure it was so good, it was so fun to play! <laughs> I just remember that somewhere I played Bishop E7. And I think I played it perfectly. 90! Okay, wasn't the smoothest Stockfish says. But okay, hold on. King of 8 best. HG best. Okay, it's not queen g6. Good to know. I'm already plus 3. Bishop f5, king g8, yes. King f7, probably. King f7, probably just won on the spot. Take, take, rook d, no? I don't know. This. Uh, yeah, this just won on the spot. King, king f7 is a bit more precise than king g8. But okay, king g8, this, this. Rook f8, bishop g6, bishop d3, e4, knight e5, bishop. Oh my god, that was so nice. <laughs> Thanks, guys. Oh, that was such a nice game! It was so, so nice. Yeah, King of 7 just won on the spot, probably. At least practically. Maybe Stockfish doesn't agree, but uh, yeah, Rook D7. Rook D7, D5, he survives. But I simply take. I have the D passer. This, I can go Bishop D6, perhaps. Take, take this, 95. Yeah, but okay, I think I played very well as well. I didn't give him any chances. Maybe King G8 is even smoother. I just mated him. Look at his queen side. <laughs> Oh, that was a great game! That was a very, very nice game. Duda versus Shankland. Okay, Duda won. How is the standings? Hikaru on 8, Magnus on 8, Filuja on 8, and Duda on 8. Woo! Spicy. Spicy. Where is Anish? Where is Anish? Anish, okay, on six and a half as well. <laughs> this should be one for white. Be careful, rook before 95. Mm -hmm. 94, good move. Yeah, but there was such a nice game. Yeah, so knight g5, bishop e7, I'm winning on this board. It's good that I played h6. I was thinking queen g6 is the best move. But I'm like, okay, h6. Because queen g6, knight f3, he has some d4. And if I don't mate him, there is nothing for me. But in the game, yes, h takes g, my queen was a block, a great piece. Then I took, and I, I had literally all my pieces. Two rooks, oops, two rooks, two bishops, and even the knight with knight e5 in the game. All my pieces were in the play, 
and his three pieces were dead. One piece was walking and some was stuck and Rook was defending. That oh, was such a nice game. Nice. Ooh, this is an interesting. This is an interesting endgame. Queen bishop versus queen. <laughs> Usually it's rook versus rook bishop versus queen. But now, uh, no, rook bishop versus rook. Ah, but black were completely winning. They blundered the pawn. Whoopsie. Whoopsie. Now it's a draw. <laughs> a bit easier to draw than rook and bishop versus rook because queen can check from anywhere. Yeah, I think I'm gonna end. I'm gonna leave it. Gonna be just checks for 20 years. Okay. This is somewhat tricky. I mean, it's winning, but it's tricky. It's winning. Yeah, it's winning. Yeah. Okay, let's go back to this. Check, 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 check. Check, 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 And now black is checking. Check, check, check. Check, check, check. Check, 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 check. But, 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 white pieces are light squares. So, black cannot do anything. Mostly from black. Wow. From winning black loss because of a mouse slip. That's unfortunate. Or a blunder, I don't know, but that's an unfortunate blunder. Okay, round 10. Let's go. Maybe a GM or actually. Six and a half out of nine. Maybe a GM, but I'm not sure. Okay. Let's go. Hey. <laughs> Eternity mode only. Aha. Uh -huh. Did he learn? Did he learn from the great... Uh, how do you play this? He must have learned from the great G4 and <laughs> move 4. Just a bit earlier. Giving him a pawn on b4, but okay, yes, I hope it will be okay. I have a3 or something undermining the pawn, <laughs> so a5, take, take, he will have an outside pass, but okay, we'll see. Maybe he won't even go for that, okay, he goes for it. <laughs> he, he went for it. Um, knight b3 and then a3. Okay. Bishop a3. Trading the bishop, take, take. Yeah, it looks fine. Looks quite fine. Okay, if, if I take on b4, uh, then I'll have a uh, blockade knight, which is good. If he takes on a3, I want to go like queen a1, and then and then get the pawn as well. Okay, this he wants to take with the queen, I guess. Doesn't this work? Knight a5, bishop a3, I take, and then I move my knight to protect the knight. And if he goes rook a5, bishop b4, rook a1, bishop e7. Ah, oh, wait, but knight a5, bishop f3, bishop three, bishop f3, rook a5, bishop b4, bishop b4, queen b4. Ah, uh, eh, no. At 
look nice but bishop f3 in between her and when and when in between her okay queen d2 queen d2 queen d2 queen 2 looks interesting this idea of rook b1 perhaps and queen b3 but again he has bishop f3 but then i can take b4 and then take f3 so if queen b3 rook b1 this is yeah looks fineish i think yeah this looks fine in, uh, unless I'm blundering, of course, <laughs> then it's not fine, but okay. Uh, queen d2, queen d2, knight d2, bishop g2, a4, that may be annoying. Yeah. Okay, here, rook b1, which rook? I suppose the f rook, he has knight c5. But then I was thinking I can go knight e5 at some point. So maybe rook b1, knight b3, queen a2, and knight e5. So I think this rook. Maybe I'm wondering because he's thinking, I don't know. Oh! Knight e5, knight d4, knight e4. Wow! This is nasty. Wow, 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 wow. So nasty. Sheesh. I'm gonna go ninety two. You bishop of three, I guess I'll take rook b three, queen a three, queen a one, and but yeah, well, knight c five. Very nice move. Do I miss something? <laughs> That's why you don't really want to give away this. Should be one, knight b3, knight b3, queen b1, knight a1, bishop a8. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. How many tricks did he have? Yeah, I just wanted a piece, I think, out of these tricks. <laughs> wow. Yeah, that was... I got outplayed here. Wow! But yeah, Bishop before... Oh my gosh! How many tricks? <laughs> yeah, that wasn't a great game for me, but yeah, I gotta give respect to my opponent for finding so many tricks. Yeah, okay, knight c5, but then bam, bishop e4, and then queen c2. Ah, but I blundered, no? Did I think they have then knight d4? I blundered as well, chat! Yeah, knight d4, I think I'm just fine. Eee! Unfortunate. Unfortunate stuff. Yeah, I think I completely blundered. Knight d4, then. Where does the queen go? Huh. It happens, it happens. Nice bluff then. Or maybe it was working. And I'm just hallucinating now. Oh no, my knight shot! No! Not the knight. Why didn't you take the knight, I mean? <laughs> oh yeah, fancy. Bishop before rook c1. Yeah, but maybe I think I had 94 then, then just with a win. Well, not with a win, but with a good position, at least not losing in on the next move. <coughs> it somehow happened in the game. I don't know how. Might have happened. Ooh, free pawn. I fall on. Yeah, but I'm still not sure. 94. Knight d4. Knight d4, bishop b1, knight b3. That's what I wanted to get. And knight d4, queen b1. That's also what I wanted to get. Shut up! I threw! I actually threw, I think. 
Okay, snake. Snake maneuver. Yeah. 94, but actually, maybe I'm not that great after 94. No, but okay, of course it's better than in the game. 94. Yeah, I'm slightly better. Then 93 and he survives. What? <laughs> no, but this is madness. This is absolute madness. Okay, we both found a brilliant... Okay, that was pretty straightforward. It was fine. We found a brilliant queen d2. Uh, inaccuracy. He found a brilliant knight c5. We should be for inaccuracy and then I blundered. I missed queen c2 completely. I completely missed queen c2. Yeah, 94 and I'm, I'm fine. But actually, fun thing is that probably he somehow... He somehow is actually playable here. Oops. I know, this is actually a bit unpleasant in my opinion. Queen a1, a4? Sure, I am better, but he may... Yeah, okay. Nice tricks from him. Long time no stream, yeah. Yeah, and then I was just lost. Uh, interesting. Ah, he was on six points. No, I'm not winning TT. <laughs> Unfortunately, not even close. I mean, I was on three and a half, then I lost to Botnik, and then I won, then I lost another good game, then I won two in a row, then I lost. But yeah, I'll try to finish on seven and a half. If I'll win this game, if I'll win the last round, I'll finish in 7.5 and, and that will be a good good uh, overall performance. So, yeah, I'll try my best to win this game. Yeah, we are content creators, e exactly. 4g4 in uh, d4, knight of 6, knight of 3, knight of 6, d4, e6, c4, b6, g3. G not g3, no, no, that's, that's old book. New book is G4. Pesh catch gambit. Okay, draw exactly on 100 moves. Uh, oh, the big Greek is playing. Okay. He's trying to win. Ah, okay, he was playing. 50 moves rule as well. Okay, emote only. What? Marker? Hello? And emote only. Uh, best TT placement 15th or something. I was on Whoa, 2800! Okay, Miss Black, Cozio perhaps? Feel free to join the Cozio gang. <laughs> no, not gang, gang is too. You, you joined the Cozio club. I got eight and a half, but I got it by an Ooh, E4. Ooh. Ooh, chat. Chat, we got Cozio for the last round. Okay, okay. I goes for the boring Cozio. Eh. Boring guy, boring guy. He doesn't go for fun, fun. He doesn't go for the fun lines where I'm winning on move eight, where I'm plus three on move eight. Mm. Wait a second. Hold on, chat. B five, C four. Am I winning a piece on move ten? Did he go for the fun cause your line? Hold on, hold on, hold on. B five, C four. Mm hmm. Okay, chat, let's not take it easy. Let's concentrate. I mean, I just a bit misplaced. Oh, queen c7. Okay, if he takes, he takes. My queen is better. We like Cosio. <laughs> I really do. Love cause you honestly. <laughs> Twenty hundred blood at a piece and move ten. Well, when does that happen, huh? <laughs> and how often does that happen? So rook b eight. I want to go bishop c five. I just want to trade nine pieces and be with an extra knight. You know, I just want to trade. I don't want to trade the bishops on his terms, but. Yeah, now I want to go bishop c5. Now bishop b7 I take with the rook, because then my bishop will tank, but now it doesn't since my, my queen doesn't need to take this bishop. So bishop c5 on a trade. Maybe I'll play bishop c1 just to keep the bishops, honestly. But 
But then bishop c1, bishop d5, queen d5, knight e7, and I have the d5 ideas. Like rook d8, d5 or something. Should be seven, should I? Okay, yes, I was thinking he would go for that. I'm pretty sure I'm gonna take. Now I can go queen, I can take. I mean, I'm probably the best thing is just to take, take d6, rook e, or maybe rook e8, d6, get my knight into play. Yeah, I think that's what I'm gonna do, honestly. Uh, maybe queen of four, maybe knight of four. And I think d6, rook e8, get an open file with my rooks. And get my knight to the play. Because if I don't have my knight, then what's the point of having an extra piece? So I gotta get my knight. It's this. Uh, rook b4. Rook b4, b3. But as I see, he may try b4. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Let's go knight e5. Provoking b3. Or rook c. Okay, goes rook c1. Uh, a5, c5, yeah, then it's fine. I just want to prevent b4. You see, if I'm gonna take, take queen d6, I don't care about the pawn because then he doesn't have these scary connected passers. Uh, c5, yes. I can even go queen b6, actually, so that he doesn't even take the the, the, the pawn. I think you forgot the pawn is called. Okay. I can play queen e7, I can play queen b6, I can play queen d6. I can play many moves. Oh, he has d6. Oh, no, but d6, cd, my knight doesn't hang. Gosh, I thought I blundered. <laughs> cd, he will have a passed pawn, but I also have a passed pawn, so I think it's okay. But probably he will try it, since he doesn't have much time left. So he either takes c5 or d6. Or plays d6, I think. Most likely he'll try d6, just to complicate things, I feel like. Because he's thinking for too much about rook c5. Oh no, he took rook c5. Whoa! That's good. That's good. I'm gonna sack the pawn. Because it's not actually a pawn sack, but knight of 3. Boom! And now, let's not mouse the queen g6 and I take the rook. And uh, 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 I think I'm gonna simply take on b2, honestly. And then queen g6. A pawn is a pawn. Cosio is the best. <laughs> yeah. Nice. Yeah, check. Wait, did I take the pawn? I don't know. Uh, queen b6 or something. Yeah. Oh. I mean, I won a piece on move 10 multiple times, but I don't think I ever won a piece on move 10 against a 2800 IM, you know? Uh, that's, that's quite rare. But with Cozio, mmm! Cozio. It's juicy. Very juicy, I just push. Nice. Good game. Oh my goodness, how many wins did I get today with Cozio Chan? Did somebody count? I don't remember. But okay, first round was okay, it was it was good, but uh this in round nine, brilliancy absolutely. Here, absolute okay, lucky but brilliancy as well. Yeah, that was brilliant. Cozio. <laughs> GG, <laughs> <laughs> thank you, thank you, chat. 88.4. Yeah, okay, we should be seven. You see a mistake. I like this line. Ah, ah, ooh, castle was a mistake. I had c5 immediately. I saw that. I was worried about bishop d7, but I simply give away the pawn and get the bishop. He has some compensation. I'm not sure when he actually started playing Cosio. Thank you, Hashim's gift for giving a table up to Chan. I'm playing Cosio for like over a year now. I'm not sure if he was, I'm not sure if he's playing for that long. Even 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 if he does, he's not the one who inspired me to play Cosio. 
I'm gonna keep it a secret. How I got inspired to play the coin. Oh, and a brilliancy for, for the last round. Okay. Okay. Yeah, that's, that was a good tournament. I'm, I'm happy with the tournament chat. Uh, three first wins in a row. Yes, this was brilliant. Yeah, that was... Yeah. So, first round was... Yeah, I just got used to the tournament, you know. I didn't play for almost a month. Second round, absolute brilliancy. I just got two beast bishops. I love this maneuver bishop e4, bishop e1. Then c5, g4, since if he takes h7, otherwise I win a pawn. c5, bishop e5, brilliancy, rook e5, perfect game. Thanks to the journal. Uh, then round three. Ah, yeah, okay, round three opening was a bit rough, but my opponent just gave away two pieces for a rook, so I just simply won. That was great. Draw against Anish, where I was winning. Uh, but I drew. Still, I was I was the one putting the pressure, so that was good. I'm happy. Uh, lost to Bortnik. I was winning at some point in time travel. I just panicked and I I, I missed a uh, winning one move. Thank you so much, Mimi. I'm sorry for gifting. Uh, no, not for gifting. For uh, 16 months at T1. Thanks so much. Drover Sun is a classic, indeed. Yeah. Okay. Against Bortnik, I was completely winning. Whoa! Crash damage. 1500 bits, thank you so much! Thank you! Appreciate it! Today was fun today! Yeah, today was... <laughs> that was like the, the craziest teacher ever! Yeah, yeah, indeed! I am fearless! I'm j I just saw some nice preparations! Yeah, against Vortnik, I, I got him in... Ah, uh, yeah, I got another good position in the course against Vortnik! I had 2 minutes while he had 30 seconds! I was better, I messed up somewhere somehow, I don't know how! Um, Queen H4, he blundered, I thought I was blundering, mate, he, somehow E2 was, yes, we don't analyze that, he, he blundered, he thought he's distracting my queen, and now he can mate me, but it was check, I want a piece, I have two seconds, I'm completely panicking, I had probably like rook D7 or something winning on the spot, this, completely winning, two seconds, I panic, I have 94, I'm winning, game over, nothing, he has absolutely nothing, I play 94 because I panic, and I blunder my knight. Still, somehow I'm lost. Somehow I'm two points down almost. Somehow he blunders two points. Now I'm a pawn up. <laughs> now something is happening. I didn't go for a draw. I don't know why. He was the one who had to repeat. We had two seconds. I don't know why I didn't take the pawn. Pretty much if I would take the pawn. I thought he's mating, but he could never mate me. Uh, I played queen b2. I lost the pawn. Something is going on. I thought I'm blundering. I have a perpetual somehow. I don't have a perpetual. Rook and two points versus rook and two points. I panic. I completely, completely, completely panic. I blunder one point, I blunder second point, I lose. <laughs> it was a goofy game. Then uh, let's, yeah, let's analyze all, all the games. Okay, let's, let's probably uh, watch the final round. And Karma, 1000 bits! Thank you so much, guys! Thank you! What level hype train are we? Thank you so, so much, everybody, for the support. We are at level 3, I think, again. Sheesh! Today's the support is insane. Thank you so, so much, everybody. Hype! Hype! Let's see, is it level 3 already? Yeah, level 2 complete, level 3. Thank you so much, everybody. I guess this is a challenge in Rook I need to win. White's completely winning. Uh, Black's completely winning, but they still gotta win. We need that pineapple. I, yeah. Uh, yes, indeed. Okay, let's see. I hope I'm in like top 70. I don't think I'm in top 50, but I think I'm in top 70. Hopefully. And. Where am I? 52nd! Sheesh! Wow, I'm actually 52nd! I'm actually 50 seconds, I'm not even... How did I... How did I have the high... Like, what? I had top 4 tiebreaker in 7.5 winters. Wow! This is insane chat. <laughs> ah, right, I played... I played fair chess, I played Bortnik. But still, how? Curve versus usual, yeah. After candidates... After... No luck in candidates, settle choose to win. Is the way to go. Where did Anish finish? Is he on 8? Or is he on 7.5? I 
Ah, it's on eight. Okay. But he has high, low tiebreakers than me. Somehow I had like a monstrosity of a tiebreak. 69. That's crazy. Ah, okay, I wouldn't have been 70, even if I had the lowest tiebreaker. But somehow I had the highest tiebreaker almost. Crazy. <laughs> I don't know. I'm shocked, chat. Okay, let's continue and listen to the games. Uh, then against an English master from Philippines. Then, okay, ah, that wasn't the best game of the round. That's tiebreaks. Yeah, crazy. I don't know how I got them. Oh, yeah, this was my favorite game of the round. Ah, no, no. I had so many. Chat, I had so many good games. I thought that was the, my, by far the best game of the tournament. The very next game. I'm playing a game which I think is, is even better than the one I literally just played. It was completely insane. Okay. Against Ninja Master from Philippines. Ah. Uh, let's see, can you. Oh no, that's my profile. That's not the game. Whoops. Oh, load. Yeah, this was 95 accuracy. Lord, Lord. G4 was yes, yeah. Wait, wait, wait. We are, we are, we are going game by game against English master from Philippines. As you can see, it was quite a smooth line until time trouble. I somehow in time trouble managed to swindle it. I had an extra point. That's how I managed to swindle it. Have you tried draw back chess yet? No, not yet, and probably not gonna try today. And then he had a draw, which is extremely hard to find with six seconds. He played h5, and I pushed my pawns. They run like they have never had before. Like they've run for their life. And then, here it was Zugzwang. If he moves his king, I have g7. I promote. Knight g3. I go king g5, I think. Yes, because king e6, knight h5. And I gotta repeat. But yes, I go here. The idea, king g5, h1, take, take, king h6. And now I give a check. Check, he takes king h7, I win. So that's how I won. But in the game, yeah, it was Zugzwang. He played h1, another on, uh, only option. And then take, take, king e6, I promote the queen and I won. Then, the game, uh, then in the game, in the next round, I got a good position against the London. I got a beast. I was doing very well. It was slightly better for like most of the game. Then I panicked. I should have probably simply traded the queens and draw. I wanted to play for a win. Hey, Sadlandin, how you doing? Long time to see. I, I panicked, I lost a pawn, and Pazitopi says he was fine, but as I lost a pawn, I was panicking during the game, I had four seconds, I just didn't know what to do. I took, and I don't know why I sacrificed an exchange. I had an easy draw, just pretty much going back and forth. But yes, I lost an exchange, he was completely lost, this guy didn't find a way how to win. He somehow, yeah, he just gave me chances. It was a draw. It was a draw. I had three seconds. I just made some moves I could. Thank you so much for your second hype train for today. Always like the exchange. It was an unfortunate sack today. Oh, I got another emote! Let's go! Thank you, chat. I thought already I had to level two emotes, but I got another one! Yes! Let's go! Two emotes in one day, chat. Thank you so, so much for two hype trains. 2500 bits and two subs. That's crazy, chat. Thank you so, so much. Um. Yes, I had to draw, but then I panicked in time trouble and I lost. To whom didn't that happen? Then, then, the best, one of the best, okay, I had many best games today. One of the best games of the round. D4, knight of 6. I uh, know, knight of 3, knight of 6. D4, e6. C4, b6. And, g4. <laughs> The best, probably the best opening you've ever seen. That's I'm. Um, it's a petition. It should be a book move. Peshkatch's gambit, or Peshkatch gambit. I don't care. Or Tyhan's gambit, or anything. Literally, just make it a book move and call it in in uh, in honor of me. Thanks, sort of Juno, for an idea. Uh, yes, G4. I, I, I literally today was just randomly seen. I, I I just saw a game B6, and then I was like, okay, I've seen G3. And I was like, ha, huh, why, why, why doesn't G4 work? A score, uh, there is no score command, but I got seven and a half, set landing, 52nd place, shared 49, still 68 or something. And then yeah, G4, stop it, isn't actually that, that mad on G4. The idea is E4, 
Perhaps this this version is better than in the game since the bishop isn't developed, right? But in the game it also worked somehow. Somehow, okay, it didn't really work. I, I had to go bishop d3, queen e2. And I'm a pawn down, but I have an open g file and it's fine. I went e5, I, I didn't know what to play after. After nice to see, I didn't know what to play, so I played e5. And then the fun began. Uh, I played bishop d2. Yes, rook g1. Somehow, somehow I'm minus, no, okay, not somehow minus 3, but somehow I'm minus 3 and I'm not dead lost. He played c5. It was a very bad move. He had to play queen c5 and try to, yes, yeah, simply. This hangs, the knight hangs, d5 hangs, everything hangs. But he ended up playing c5, I played knight b5, he played knight b3, king c3. <laughs> My king is on c3, but after knight a1, I am plus 2. I am plus 2, being a rook and a pawn down with my king on c3, I'm somehow plus 2. I played knight d6, I made a mistake, I was a rook down, I had to take b7 and then take a1. I didn't like knight b7, queen g5. But probably sounds like f4 or d takes c in a better, yeah. But I play queen e3, e takes d, c takes d, knight b7, then he traded the queens. I'm super long time, I don't know what's going on. I understand, okay, probably I lose this game. Knight d6, I don't want to trade the knights. King c4, now he made a mistake. b4, great move. I am forcing his knight b passive. Okay, this, this knight is stuck and my knight is great. So he most likely has to sacrifice an exchange or something. He played knight a6, king d4, knight c7, bishop a3. Now the bishop joins the play. Knight e8, I took two, bishop d7, bishop c6. And now the position is plus four. To stockfish. <laughs> I have an active king since it's end game. Since it's end game, the king in like 12 moves became an absolute beast. I have a great bishop block in this c file. And also have the past connected past pawns. Yeah, now the exchange suck. Yes, indeed. <laughs> F6, D6. I have scary pawns and then he ended up blundering a rook. I just took it and I won. So that was fun. Uh, yeah, petition to make Peshkacha, so Taihan's Gambit, uh, 4G4 or 3G4 if you play against B6. Petition. I need someone to create a petition. Then, Cozio in round 9. That was fun. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I've seen this line, bishop d3, queen d3. I think bishop c2 is the better move here. Yeah, it is. Uh, my but, 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 that's, that, that's, that's the diamond of Cozio, is that uh, there, is, there is a lot of, there, there is a lot of traps. He played knight g5, uh, not knight d8, but bishop b7. The idea, I sacrifice the pawn. The idea is that if he takes, I go rook f, oops, not g, but rook f8, and the knight is saying, I'm, I'm getting two pieces, completely, completely better. He played bishop f7, that's even worse actually than knight f7, since I go king of 8 this h6 g, uh, my queen is a beast, his queen side is pretty much dead. So he played queen of 3 now I go bishop f5, knight e6, king g8, I sacrifice second pawn, rook f8. I have two pretty much, okay, two pieces with uh, looking with uh, eye in my opponent's skin, with two more ready to join. Knight d5, bishop d6, he made rook e1, I played bishop d3. I really loved how I played the game now. Bishop d3, I just want to suffocate his three pieces, because I have five pieces, he has two, and a terrible pawn structure. Bishop d3, rook e3, e4, e4, look at that. The idea is that after takes, go knight e5. I am three points down, my bishop is suffocating his three pieces, so, my threat is knight f3, bishop c5, I have like a bit, I don't know, a bajillion, I don't know if that's even a word of threats. He plays f4, I play bishop c5. Now, if he takes a knight, I check him, king g2, bishop e3. And the idea is that I simply take, and I take, and I am winning. So you've tried knight a3, I took, knight f3, check, bishop e4, knight e7, king f7, the knight is trapped. He lost some time, but that's completely winning. That was another great game I love today. This game is better. This was so smooth. That was brilliant as well. I loved it. Yeah, I just I just remembered something King of Eight and I'm better. But I just out played so well. No, but I, I loved how I played mm, this game. Uh, so I love the game. Uh, yes, this one against uh, Viscosio. G4 was G4 was for content. This one was, uh, the, in Cozio it was smooth, but G4 was for content, you know. 
Uh, and this one was also, I really loved it. Full of brilliances. It wasn't brilliant, but uh, I think it was brilliant, even though Stokers didn't say so. I also love this game, where I ruined his pawn structure, got my queen, and then queen h6. I want to mate him. And now, he wanted to take the pawn, but he wasted tempo, actually. I just played bishop e4, and bishop b1. I transform, transported my bishop. Now, he cannot move either of these pawns because it's checkmate. And yes, he played b5, but then g4, look at that. And now, he cannot take, since mate. He played f6, I took, I played c5. With ADF takes, I go bishop b5, fe, f6. Unstoppable mate. Oh, I'm tired of talking, actually. Uh, he played queen d8, I took on e5, since he cannot take, since f6 takes mate. And as I was queen g7, mate, if bishop g6. So that... If d takes e, I take d8, I'm a queen up, it's just over. He took rook c5, I took f3, he cannot take the rook because bishop f6, check, 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 rook g1, this queen e6 mate. Uh, but yeah, he took d takes e, rook e5, the idea, it's an excellent move, even though I thought it was a brilliancy, since f e f6 mate is unstoppable, either on g7 or on h7, and he played bishop d8, just hanging rook, and I won. That was also a brilliant game. I had like three great games today. Like, not great, but perfect games. Yeah, yeah, the double mate is the name of my S game. <laughs> okay, in the game against Andrei, eh, it was a decent game. I like queen d2, sucking a piece, but I, I just thought for too much. Rook b1, knight e4, knight c5, brilliant from him. Queen c1, great move from me, with idea of knight d2 or knight d4. Bishop b4, and here is someone panicked with long time already. I played knight d2 completely, missing queen c2, then I'm a piece down, his queen escapes. I had knight d4 though, and then I was pretty fine. Knight d3, knight b1, this, this, rook c1, a4, knight d2. I take this point, it should be a draw, but I missed that, and I ended up losing the game pretty easily. And the final round was, well, was probably not the smoothest game, but it was very fun. That at 2800, I am full. Yeah, okay. I had c5, b5 immediately, but I castled, and he just landed c5, b5, blundering a piece. <laughs> and then, yeah, it was very smooth. He suffered so much, I didn't think for it all. Thank you so much for the follow. No, yeah, I don't know what SK is, honestly. <laughs> Uh, he had d6, I, I fld mine. I was worried about this, but I was thinking that something like rook a8, mm, and then this rook a7, I'm winning. He played rook c5, I played queen d6, making a trap. I have knight f3, brilliancy, and I won the game. So a great tournament! I peaked today at 28.82, and right now I'm at 28.79, so pretty good. 29 soon, maybe, would be great. Also, Drew Anish was close against Botnik and Andrekin. Great stream, a lot of content. Thank you so, so much, everybody, for the support. Really, really appreciate it. Thank you so, so much. Crash Diamond Rich for 1500 bits, Karma for 1200 bits, Hide Hidden Pickles for 500 bits, Totally Journal for 500 bits as well, and Lorgan for 200 bits. We got a level 3 hype train with 2500 bits and 2 gifted subs. Uh, BMF Snotty subbed at T1 for 61 months. I don't know why it's. I'm blind. It wasn't 16, it was 61, chat. Thank you so much for all five years, BMF Snotty subbing at T1. And he was gifted a gift at T1 sub to Xian. Then Crash Dummy subbed at T1 for nine months as well. Thank you so, so much. Thanks, Organ. <laughs> I'm doing good, FLD. Then, a new gift to give the tier 1 sub to Shogunot. Lorgan sub at tier 1 for 23 months. In a month, Lorgan will sub for 2 years already. That's insane. Then, Panda tier 3 at uh, 43 months at tier 3. And Karma tier 3 for 40, uh, 47. My English speaking skills left the chat today. Karma 70 months at tier 3. In a month, he'll be at six years of subbing. Thank you so, so much, everybody. Also, before I streamed, Anonymous Gifted gifted six subs and Pookie subbed at tier one for 30 months, already over a year. Thank you so, so much. Uh, yeah, I don't know what to say. Thank you so, so much for the support, everybody. It was absolutely amazing. I hope you had fun. I spoke for so much today. <laughs> it was fun. 
Hope you had fun as well. Don't forget to join the Discord. And also don't forget to check out my YouTube channel where you can see every single stream after some days where I beat Grunches to a team, OTB, where Magnus played in 20 moves. That was another brilliant game of mine. Uh, yeah, okay, okay, totally journal. Yeah, I'm, I don't have a mic, I have... Uh, uh, I'm, I'm, I don't know, I'm too active, hold on. Yeah, I have a mic from laptop. It's not worth it in the current situation to buy a mic because, you know, any second you might just need to grab your laptop and then run, so we'll see. I am not planning to make a chat on Discord because I'm not planning to become a Discord mod. It will take too much time. And I'm not sure, I'm not, I don't think I'm ready to make a Discord chat just yet, but maybe in a year or two I will make a Discord chat. So thanks a lot everybody for watching and for the support. Really hope you had fun. Ah, yes. Get two. Two, 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 two. We had level four hype train. 900 bits and four gifted subs. And then level three with 2500 bits and two subs. Thank you so much, everybody. Wise decision. Thank you. Thanks a lot, everybody, for watching. Really hope you had fun. Take care, everybody. Bye, John. Bye, Field Demand. Bye, Karma. Bye, Totally Journal. Bye, Pookie. Bye, Lorgan. Bye, Crash Dummy Rich. Bye, bye, everybody. Bye, Seth Landin. Bye. Be me up, Snotty. Bye. Let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. Bye, Giza Chess. Bye, Pookie. Bye. Let's see who gives it up. Beam me up, Snotty. Crash Dummy Rich. Pookie. Hidden Pickles. Bye. Everybody who followed. Bye, bye, everybody. Bye, Karmar. Bye, Lorgan. Bye, Totally Journal. Crash Dummy. Beam me up, Snotty. Everybody who was here. Bye, Timochka. Take care, everybody. Have a great rest of your day. Thank you, Timochka. Hope you had fun. Hope you had fun with my novelties and brilliance. <laughs> and I hope to take care next time. Take care, everybody, and bye-bye.